So, you have a plan. You know what you want, you know the steps you need to take to make it happen. So, why isn't it working? I have a client who came to me a couple months ago. She knew exactly what she wanted to do. She knew what she needed to do to make it happen. And so we started working together. First week, she laid out the steps she needed to take. She came back the next week. Ah, she nailed it. It's doing a great job. The next week, laid out what she needed to do. Came back. Ah, she didn't do hardly anything on her list. What was holding her back? She wanted to know. She knew what she needed to do. She knew the steps she needed to take. Yet something was holding her back and she couldn't put her finger on it. Well, here's an interesting fact. Researchers have estimated between 80 and 95% of the activities that we engage in, in any day, are actually on autopilot. They're habits. We build routines, we have ways of doing things. That's great. In fact, that routine, the habits, they make us very productive and very efficient. Except when you want to make a change. Think about this. If you had to consciously stop and think and consider all the infinite choices that you have in all the different activities that you do in a day, you'd be exhausted before you even had your first cup of coffee. So routines are great, but when you want to make a change, you have to build this new connection in your brain and that takes effort. Oh, and then let's add one more little thing, our ego. And no, I'm not talking about the ego that you're thinking of like, oh, I am so wonderful. Not that ego. No, the ego I'm talking about is more primal. Think fight or flight. That ego's job is to keep us safe. In fact, it is there to stop. It throws on the brakes if you throw any kind of new thing, any kind of change at them. The ego's job is to keep us safe. In fact, the ego's opinion is, hey, I've kept you safe this far. You're alive, aren't you? No changes. Nope, nope. I'm hitting the brakes. We do not make change here because it could kill us. And so anytime we try to introduce a change, it takes a lot of effort. So how do you get past the ego? Because you know you want to make a change. Well, that's where a coach can help. A coach has the tips and the tools and the resources to help you get through and past your ego that is there to keep you safe. It helps you build those small goals, those small steps that help you achieve some small successes. And once you're having those small wins, then you can start gaining the momentum to build those new habits that will lead you to success and fulfillment when you reach your goal. So if you have developed a plan and you know what it is you need to do, yet you're still struggling to make it happen, reach out to us at Retail Level Up because we can help you get through that valley of despair when you know what it is you want to do, but you just seem to have trouble making it happen. For more tips like this, like us and follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and search for Retail Level Up on whatever platform you get your favorite podcasts. When you visit RetailLevelUp.com, sign up for our email subscription. We send Monday Motivations and Top Tip Tuesdays, because now, even more than ever, it's time to level up.